Hi folks, we're going to take a look at number nine from the uh, unit three practice test. Uh, so here we're looking at two uh, different ant colonies and we're talking about um, their populations. Okay, so they tell us that the larger one is three times the size of the smaller one initially. Okay, so there's a relationship between their uh, initial sizes. Okay, but the smaller one decreases 3% every week while the larger colony increases uh, by 5% every week. Okay, so we know we're gonna be working with these populations. So let's come up with models for each of these. So if I uh, call AS, the uh, amount of ants in the smaller population, okay? We know that that's gonna be given by the initial population, which I'll call A naught. We don't know what that is yet, uh, or maybe we don't even need to know it. And since it's decreasing by 3% every week, we know that if we lose 3%, we're gonna be left with 97%, okay? And that'll just be to the X since it happens once every time unit. Okay, I'll just let X be the number of weeks. Okay, and then for the larger colony, which I'll call AL, well, the initial value, again, I don't know what it is, but I do know that it has to be three times the initial value of the other population. So I'll use the same variable, but just multiply it by three, and this increases by 5%, so 1.05, and again, every week, so my uh, variable is just X, so X here is just in weeks. All right. So let's see what they're actually asking us to find. They're asking us to determine how many weeks it's gonna take for the larger colony to be 10 times the size of the smaller colony. Okay, so we have to try to set up something that we can solve. Um, so here, when we're talking about something being 10 times larger, 12 times larger, three times larger, okay, uh, the way we can work with that is by looking at the ratio uh, of the two populations. So we know that the ratio of the larger population to the smaller population, so AL over AS, has to be equal to 10. Okay, so this means that the numerator is 10 times larger than the denominator. Okay, and we're going to try to solve this here. Okay, so let's just input the two uh, formulas we have for AL and AS. So AL is 3, A naught, 1.05 to the X. And then AS is just A naught times 0 0.97 to the X, and that has to be equal to 10. And here we see that the A naughts just reduce. And so regardless of what the initial population actually was, or the initial populations were, uh, looks like we can solve this problem regardless of uh, that actual number. Okay, so here we've got three times 1.05 to the X, and again, uh, got variables, numerator and denominator, so I'm just going to multiply that to the other side, uh, 10 times 0 0.97 to the x. And here we see that we have an exponential equation uh, with two powers of different bases, okay? So the way in which we deal with that is to take the log of both sides, okay? And we should be able to solve this. So because we've done a few of these now, I'll skip a few steps. So the first thing, I know I won't be able to use the uh, ski slope rule yet because I don't just have a power inside of the logarithm. I've also got this multiple of three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first log law to split this up. So this is going to be log of three plus log of 1.05 to the x, but now I can use the ski slope rule. So I'm just going to right away write that as x log of 1.05. And very similarly, on the other side, I'm going to first use the first law of logarithms to split this up into log uh, of 10 plus log of 0.97 to the x, but now I'm going to use the ski slope rule since I've got a single power. So x log 0.97. And now I just have a um, linear equation, which I can solve. So I'll bring all the x's to one side. So x log 1.05, okay, minus x log 0 0.97. And on the other side, we have a well, log of 10, just log base 10 of 10 is just 1, minus the log 3. Okay, and so here, well, uh, I can factor out the x, and then I'm going to divide that to the other side, so I'm just left with x equals one minus, oops, log of three over log of 1.05 
minus log of 0 0.97. And of course, since we've got a context here, I'm going to want to approximate that to estimate how, my, how many weeks that's going to be. Okay, so let's do that here. So we've got um, 1 minus, okay, oh, I'm not sure what happened there. 1 minus log of 3. Actually, you know what? I forgot to put brackets around my numerator. So 1 minus log of 3, okay, divided by uh, log of 1.05 minus log of 0.97, and that gives me about 15.2, okay? So here we can say it will take about 15.2 weeks. Okay, and there we have it. Well, let's do a recap here. So first of all, uh, it made sense to come up with models for each of the populations, and that's just you know our regular exponential models. One's a decay, one's uh, a growth. Okay, and then to realize that uh, what we had to determine was uh, when AL was going to be 10 times AS. Okay, so I could have written it as a ratio or even written as AL equals 10 AS, just is just the same. And then from there, once I simplify, I realize that I had one of those scenarios where we have the equality of two powers with different bases. So we take log base 10 of both sides. Um, one thing that we had we did have to do here is first apply the first logarithm rule to get rid of that uh, coefficient in front of the power and then once i had the power on its own i could use a ski slope rule and then that just becomes uh, a linear equation to solve okay that's it for this one